I am back with a very exciting braces update for you guys. In this update, I'm going to be telling you about our new game plan, new time frame, and how they have been treating me. And essentially, that equates to pain. My next visit is on the 26th, so I'm going to be posting that update on the 27th. This update is going to be very exciting because I get to take you guys with finally and you can see more of the exam, like when they get tightened, what he has to say, and we're also adding the back brackets finally. So right now my back molars in the top and the bottom, they don't have any, any brackets or any wires connecting them. So this is going, we're finally going to be adding them so it can finally be complete. Another reason that's really exciting is because that means ideally and hopefully that I only have about three-ish months left before these bad boys can come off. This time has been a bit rough on me. It's been pretty painful. Um, it really hurts to chew. My teeth are super sensitive. Uh, I will fully admit that sometimes I'm not wearing the bands, like the rubber bands, like I should. Sometimes I'll take them off because they hurt so bad and I just want to give myself a break and then I forget to put them back on. So definitely don't do that. Make sure you have them on. We added a little bit of thicker wires this time. We did take off the power chain, so that's a good sign. And we did add some different, uh, I don't know if we should say design, some different um, little nicks in there to really increase the tension. So I think that's also part of the reason it's been a little bit more painful this time. For the future, uh, what we're looking at after the braces come off too is something we've been discussing. Uh, the, on the table right now we have the traditional retainer where you know like you put it in every night some sometimes like you know probably in my case for a while you'd be wearing it throughout the day sometimes and then especially at night or the permanent retainer. I've had some friends who do have permanent retainers and they do not like it. Uh, I've heard a lot of cons about them like that it's really hard to floss, food gets stuck in them all the time so you're always like picking behind your teeth. If you're not sure what a permanent retainer is, I'll go ahead and insert a picture. So that's what that one looks like. Um, and then here is a photo of a traditional retainer. I ideally would like a traditional retainer, but I am curious if any of you have had any experiences personally, or if you have any friends or family who you know has had either one of them and please leave a comment below with what they thought and what you guys think. I know this one is a super quick update but the really big one is coming on the 27th so be sure if you're not already subscribed turn on your notifications so you don't miss that update because that I'm really really pumped to share that with you guys and if this video has at all been helpful please give it a like and I'll see you on the next one.